I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll go through steps which are required to solve a cubic polynomial. We have five different equations here and we'll see how to solve cubic equations. All of them are cubic equation since the highest degree of any term here is 3, right? So the first one here is x cubed plus 125 equals to 0. The second is x cubed minus 27 equals to 0. Third one is 2 times x minus 1 whole cube minus 16 equals to 0. Then we have x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals to 0. And the last here is x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 equals to 0. Now the strategies adopted are different for these types of questions. So we have one strategy for the first two, then we have another strategy for the third one and these two polynomials will have a third kind of strategy, correct? So this video may run into 10-15 uh, minutes, have patience. Uh, let's see how to solve uh, such equations one by one. Let's begin with x cubed plus 125. So if I have x cubed plus 125 equal to 0, we could do it like a normal equation. Taking away minus 25 both sides will give us x cubed equals to minus 125 and x as equals to cube root of minus 125, correct? Now cube root of minus 125 is minus 5 and therefore minus 5 becomes the solution, correct? Now you could adopt this method uh, for x cubed minus 27 also and then solve it. So you get in the second one, so here we have the solution x equals to minus 5 and if you do the same thing for the next one, you will get x equals to cube root of 27, right? Cube root of 27 is 3. Is it okay? So that is one method which can be adopted. Now here, we can also adopt another method and that is uh, using factors, correct? So this is straight solution as an equation. The second e method which I would like to discuss here is using factors. So let me make some room here for the second method. So we will now solve using factoring. We will do the second using factoring which is x cubed minus 27 equals to 0. If you remember the factoring of a cube minus b cube, that will be simple. a cube minus b cube is a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square, correct? And if we have a plus sign here, then the signs change like this, right? So you could use this factoring technique to solve such equations also. So I'll use the factoring technique to solve the second one. So we could factor this since you could write this also as uh, x cubed minus 3 cubed equals to 0, right? So it is in the form a cube minus b cube. So I could factor this as x minus 3 times square of x plus product of these two, which is 3x plus square of 3, which is 9. Is it okay? Equals to 0. Now this factor here will never be 0. However, x minus 3 can be 0. So if x minus 3 equals to 0, that implies that x is equals to 3, right? So this becomes the second method to solve for x cubed minus 27 equals to 0, right? So I hope uh, that is well taken. So either one of these methods are good. Next one here is 2 times x minus 1 whole cube minus 16 equals to 0. Now in such equations, there is a slight variation as you can see. We have x minus something whole square, but the method adopted will be, could be similar to what we did 
in the first case. So we'll take 16 to the right side. So we get 2 times x minus 1 whole cube equals to 16. And then we can divide by 2, right? So we get x minus 1 whole cube equals to 16 divided by 2, which is 8. Now we can do cube root just as we did here. So we get x minus 1 equals to cube root of 8. Now cube root of 8 is 2. So x minus 1 equals to 2. x is equals to 2 plus 1. And that gives us the answer as 3. You see that. So x equals to 3 is the solution for the third cubic equation which we have taken. Correct? So I hope you understand this kind of method. We had adopted this method for solving quadratic equations also. So in quadratic equations also we did factoring to solve and similar method when we were given the equation in vertex form. So same strategies work for such equations. However, if we have equation in standard form, we don't have any quadratic formula to work with. So here we have to do trial and error to get the first zero. So let me discuss that in greater details uh, now. So we'll take up these two equations and then work on them. So the equations for us are x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals to 0 and x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 equals to 0. So I'll show you the strategy to solve these equations. One of them is for you to practice. Okay. To begin with, we do, we try to find factors uh, by trial and error. So it actually begins with trial and error. Uh, but with one assumption, and that is, we know that the factor has to be factor of 6. So we check for possible factors. Now the possible factors are factors of 6. So they could be a plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, or plus minus 6. Right? So when we say these are my possible factors, that really means that if I substitute 1 here, so I have to try that. And if I get 0, then 1 is a factor, right? If it is not 0, then it is not a factor. That's the whole idea, right? So what we do here is, so we try for x equals to 1, then 2, then 3, or these values in a sequence. So let's say if I substitute x equals to 1, then what happens? So if I substitute x equals to 1, I get here 1 cube plus 2 times 1 square minus 5 times 1 minus 6, right? Now, this is 1 plus 2 minus 5 minus 6. Clearly, this is not equal to 0. So, x equals to 1 is not a factor. Correct? Now, let's try 2. So, if I write x equals to 2 and try it out, what do I get? 2 cube plus 2 times 2 square minus 5 times 2 minus 6. 2 cube is 8 plus 4 times 2 is also 8. Here we get minus 10 minus 6. What we get here is 16 minus 16 which is 0. So this is equal to 0. Perfect. Since at x equals to 2 this is equal to 0 we know that x minus 2 is a factor. So this implies that x minus 2 is a factor. So at this stage what we have done, we have got the first factor for the given equation, right? Now cubic equation degree 3, the other factor will be quadratic, correct? So if I divide, now the strategy is we know the first factor now we can divide our function, right? So now we do division. And let us see how. So we'll do long division to begin with. Some of you have also learned synthetic division, which you could do at this stage. So we'll divide the polynomial, uh, which is 
me rewrite here let me make some room also okay so so we'll divide the polynomial x cube plus 2x square minus 5x minus 6 by the factor x minus 2 so the remainder has to be 0 right that's what we mean okay so it goes x square times so we get x cube minus 2x square take away so that gives you 4x square minus 5x so we can now multiply by 4x that gives us 4x square minus 8x and when you take away you get 8 take away this is 3 right so you get 3x minus 6 now you can plus 3 and that gives you 3x minus 6 remainder of 0 that means the other factor is this one correct so we have another factor here so we could now write this as x minus 2 times this factor which is x square plus 4x plus 3 you see that now this is a quadratic equation now what we get here is x square plus 4x plus 3 this is a quadratic equation you can always factor so let us use product and sum to factor this we are looking for two numbers p and q so we can say uh, p times q is 3 and their sum is is 4 right and the two numbers are 3 and 1 and therefore we can factor this as x plus 3 times x plus 1 is it okay so we have factored the quotient which was quadratic using our knowledge of factoring quadratic equations combining these two what we did here right and what we are doing here we get our final answer correct and our answer is that the factored form is the first factor which we got by trial and error x minus 2 and these two x plus 3 times x plus 1 so that is the strategy to factor a polynomial in general right so i've taken up a cubic equation to make it simple so that you understand these steps now here is the second question which you could use as a practice question so begin by checking the values for possible factors since minus 2 is a constant possible factors for you are plus minus 1 and plus minus 2 so just four values to try if you try these values you'll get all the factors for the second equation i hope that really helps feel free to subscribe to my videos share them and if you like that would be great thank you and all the best